Hey family, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley B. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Y'all, this word that I have today, ooh, somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs it. And I'm being obedient and I'm coming with this fire, this fire word that the Lord is speaking to somebody today. And God is saying this video right here, this is for the chosen ones. This is for those that have a problem embracing your chosen identity. It's like, you know that you are chosen. Ooh, you know that God has called you, but you walk with this fear. You walk around with this spirit of rejection. You walk around wanting to embrace this, wanting to believe it, but there's something, there's something that's keeping you stuck. There's something that's keeping you tied to, to the past. There's something that's happening in your identity that's keeping you rooted to the world, that's keeping you rooted to these lies of the enemy. I come here today to encourage you. Oh, I come to encourage you. God is saying that you, you got to stop running. You got to stop running. You have to embrace this chosen identity. You have to embrace who God has called you to be. You have to embrace that you are special embrace the fact that you are not like everybody else embrace the fact that this this vision that god has shown you Ooh, for some of y'all watching this video god has shown you this vision for so long he has showed you this even from when you was a little kid and i know this i can speak on this because i know what it feels like i know what it what it feels like and to know that you have a calling on your life to know that you are anointed to know that you are different and a lot of these things a lot of these places you will never fit in and and I come and I come to encourage you because for for the chosen people for the people that are chosen ooh you have had a hard life you have had a hard life you've been the black sheep of the family or you've been that person where you feel like you have gone through so much rejection in your life you felt like you didn't fit in you felt like people didn't understand you you feel like the things that you see that's that that's that that's that discernment on you that's that special discernment that God has placed over you to be able to see things to be able to see things in the spirit you don't see things like everybody else see it you don't you don't interpret things the way other people interpret it you have a deeper you have a deeper understanding you have a deeper knowledge because God placed something on the inside of you that is special special for the purpose that he has for you that that he needs to have to be able to strengthen the gifts and the talents that he put on the inside of you you are chosen so you're differently you're set apart you're different from the rest of the world you don't think like everybody else thinks you don't act like everybody else at you have been different for a reason and God said I need you to start embracing it I need you to start to stop trying to run away from it right now there is somebody that is going to come across this video there is somebody that's going to know it because God told me to get on this video and speak this because somebody he's going to send this video to the person that needs to hear it to the person that's going to say you know what today I'm going to stop running you know what today I'm going to embrace this you know what God I hear you speaking I hear you speaking to, uh, to me through this woman of God. I hear you speaking to me through this video. And God said, I need you to embrace your chosen identity y'all just to share a little testimony and i and i talked about this testimony on this channel before and i will continue to talk about this y'all i remember when god started calling me first of all i've been knowing since i was six years old i've been knowing since i was six years old the calling that god had on my life the anointing that god had on my life and i would run away from it i would run away from it y'all I, I i used to think that god how can i be this person you you know god would show me this vision and it was so big, y'all, even at six years old, this vision was so big and I would run away from it because I'd be like, God, that could never be me. God, that could never be me. God, look at, look at who I am. Look at my past. Look at my surroundings, God. Like, how could you ever put me in a position to where I'm, I'm doing this, oh God, where I'm speaking, oh God. Lord, when, when God first started showing me a YouTube channel, God, who am I to be getting on YouTube and encouraging somebody else and inspiring somebody else and speaking to somebody else? Who want to listen to me? Who want to hear me? What value do I have on the inside of me? Y'all, but it took for me to start embracing it. It took for me to start adopting a new identity, understanding who I am in God, understanding who God says I am, embracing that I'm chosen. It's okay that I'm different. It's okay that I'm not like everybody else. I It's certain things in my life that I had wanted to happen the way I wanted to happen. And God had to show me. God had to let me know that you, you can't just be attached to any old thing. You you can't just be attached to any old body because the anointing that you have over your life, because of this chosen identity that you have, I have something greater for you. I have something higher for you. So no, 
I can't just put you in these rooms with any old body. I can't just attach you to any any old men, all these men that you done dealt with. I can't just attach you to these people because you have a high calling. You have a high purpose. You are chosen for something higher. You are chosen for a different cause. You are chosen for an assignment. And God is saying all these things that you've gone through in your life, you done thought it was rejection. No, it's because you are chosen. It's because you are chosen. I had to block it. I had to protect you from it. I had to snatch you away from it. You done cried all these tears. You done, you done walked in all these seasons of pain, thinking that these people didn't love you, thinking that these people didn't want you. You don't even know that I was snatching you away because you are much bigger. You are much bigger. You have a bigger purpose. You have a, a higher calling. You didn't even even know that you did you did you was cheap treating yourself so cheaply you didn't even know the value that was on the inside of you you didn't even know the calling that I you didn't even know the plans and the thoughts that I had for you you didn't even know the success that was waiting on the other side of your pain you didn't even know the future that I have for you you've been trying to attach yourself to these people you've been trying to attach yourself to these situations not even knowing not even knowing you've been running away from it you've been running away from it you didn't want to embrace it you've been in embarrassed you've been in i'm talking to the people that god I'm, I'm speaking to somebody that done grew up in church that done faced a lot of church hurt you you grew up in church and you knew that that god had this calling on you know this you watching this video right now i'm talking about this video is hitting i'm talking about it's resonated and i know it's resonated because you're chosen you you're chosen you have no you have no choice but to receive what i'm saying you have no choice but to nod your head to this you have no no choice but to smile because you know that the lord is speaking to you and only chosen only those that are chosen are able to understand what I'm saying. Only those that are chosen are able to receive this message. This message is not for everybody. Everybody is not going to be able to understand this. Everybody is not going to be able to receive this message, but it's to, it's somebody even if it's one person that this video reaches, it's somebody that says, I know what you're talking about, Ash. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And I got to stop. I got to stop running from you, God. I got to stop running from this. I remember when God told me this a couple of years ago. This was before I, I stopped being afraid and I stopped running from it and I started going after what God told me to do and I stopped caring about all this other stuff and I had to let this stuff go. I had to let these old beliefs that I've had about myself and, and the things of my past when I just completely gave it all up and said, you know what, God, I'm going to go after what you have for me. You know what, God, I'm going to step into this calling. You know what, God, I choose to embrace and accept this chosen identity that you have placed over my life. I remember a few years ago when God spoke to me, y'all, I was going through a season. I was going through a season where I was just was feeling like the enemy was in my ear that I'm, you just, you're not good enough. You're not this. You will never be this. You will never be that. And I, and I was sitting in under that spirit of, of rejection. Oh, y'all, I was sitting under that spirit of rejection. Like, man, you know, and God started speaking to me. And I, and I, and y'all, I talked about this video. I've talked about this video on the channel. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it in the description. I did this video some months ago and I will continue to bring this testimony. But I remember when God spoke to me, he said, Ashley, everything that you do, everything that it don't matter what you try to go out there and do it does not matter what you try to touch whatever type of relationship you think you're gonna be in whatever type of success you think you're gonna uh, go out there and get whatever type of job you're gonna anything in your life i don't care whatever decision that you make in your life i don't care whatever type of things you try to bring into your life whatever type of things you try to attach yourself to god said anything that you do Anything that you go try to do that I am not attached to, it will not work. It will not prosper. It will fail every time. And I remember when God spoke that to me. At the time when he spoke that to me, this was before, this was before I, I accepted. This was before he took me through the, the time in my life and the season in my life where I had no choice but to be like, you know what, God, I'm going after what you have for me. And I remember when he spoke that to me and, and I was able to, I was able to receive that and I was able to understand what he's saying what he was saying because i'm chosen i'm chosen to be able to understand the holy spirit i'm chosen to be able to understand these things of god the secrets of god i'm chosen so i was able to let that register in my spirit but i, I didn't really understand i knew what he was saying but at the same time i'm like 
I was still trying to run away from it. I was still trying to hide from it. I'm like, God, I can't, I can't be this person. God, I want to be like the world. I want to be like everybody else. God, I want to go do my own thing. I want to go find my own way. And it wasn't until God took me through a season and, 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 and well, I had to find out the hard way, right? I had to find out the hard way. I had to hit rock bottom and start finding out the rock. The, uh, the, I had to start finding out on my own, right? And when God took me through the season where he started to heal me and he started to turn my pain into purpose, I remember God and I was going through my healing journey and I'm still going through my healing journey, but I was going through my healing journey and God brought that back up when he brought that to me. When he brought that to me and when he brought that to me, it was such a beautiful revelation in it. It was such a beautiful revelation in it because I'm going through my healing journey. I'm, I'm on this. I'm on this journey with God now. Right. I'm embracing who I am. I'm, I'm embracing that I'm chosen. I, I'm, I'm embracing that I'm set apart. I'm embracing that I've been chosen for a specific uh, assignment or, and and I'm and I'm chosen from God. I'm God's pick. And so when he began to reveal it to me again, I said, my God, I said, my God, this spirit of rejection has been on me. These things that didn't work out in my life, these things that didn't, these things that caused me so much hurt and pain, God, you were blocking it. You were blocking it. Oh God, Lord, you was protecting me. You was protecting me from the snare of the enemy. Lord, you was pulling me away from these things that didn't serve me. You was pulling me away from these things, these people that, that wasn't for me, that didn't serve me, God, because you knew the thoughts, because you knew the plans that you had for me, because you knew the calling that you had on my life and the vision is way too big. The, the purpose that you have for me is way too big. The call all in that you have for me is way too big. Oh God, so you had to snatch me. You had to snatch me away from these things that wasn't for me. You had to snatch me away from these things that would have continued to pull me down, God, so you can take me higher. So you can take me into the destiny that you have for me. So that you can take me into the future that you have for me. My God, my God. And that's what God is saying to somebody right now. The person that is struggling with this chosen identity. God said, you live this life. I know exactly how you feel and how you think. I, I know how you think. Only, only we can understand each other. Only we can understand each other. Like I said, like everybody can't understand this. Everybody can't understand this. God said that your life, your life, the, the things that you have gone through, the certain things that God had to take you through, it's all been for a reason. It's all been for a reason. The toughest battles, the toughest battles, it's been for us. It's been for us. The lessons that God has been drawing from these things, it's been for a reason. It's been for a reason because the purpose and the plan and the assignment that God has for your life. You have to go through these things. You have to face these rejections. You have to face these things in your life. It was only to build you up. It was only to build you up to this higher place that God has called you to go. And God is saying right now, stop trying to fit into these places that you don't fit in. Stop trying to attach yourself to these people that's not meant for you. God said, it's time to go higher. It's time to go higher. It's time to stop running. God said, I called you to be a preacher. Stop running from it. Stop running from it because you are chosen for it. God said, walk in it. I called you to be a writer. Stop running from it because I have called you for it because you are chosen for it. God said, I called you to be a business owner. Stop thinking that you can't do it. It. I called you to be a ministry leader. Stop thinking that you can't do it. Everything that I have placed on the inside of you is enough. Everything that I have placed on the inside, I would not call you. I would not choose you for this assignment. I would not choose you for this purpose. I would not choose you for such a time as now in your life. For me to just have you out here and not giving you what you need, it's already on the inside of you. God said, I need you to just start walking in it. God said, embrace it. God said, don't you go another day. Don't you go another day. After you come up off this video, this is your confirmation. Don't you go another day. Keep going back and forth with yourself, whether or not this is for you, whether or not God has called you. God said, this is your confirmation. It's time for you to get up and go. It's time for you to embrace it. It's time for you to embrace the fact that you are different. 
different. And once you are able to embrace that, once you are able to understand that you are chosen for something greater, you are chosen for something higher. I promise you that's going to change your mind for every setback that you done had in your life, from every man that done left you, from every woman that done left you, from everything that didn't work out in your life. When you know that there is something higher, when you know that you are a leader, when you know that you are chosen for something greater, ooh, that, that gives you a different type of confidence. It gives you a different type of confidence. It gives you a different type of walk to say, you know what, devil? You tried to keep me from embracing this. You tried to steal. You tried to steal my joy. You tried to keep me from going after what God has for me. You tried to keep me from embracing this identity in God. You wanted my identity to be rooted in the, in the lies, in the fears, in the doubt. But you know what? I'm going to get up today, Lord, and I accept it, and I'm going to go after it. I'm going to, I'm not going to go another day sleeping on myself. I'm not going to go another day not acting like I am your pick, not acting like I am special, not acting like I am your prized possession, God, because you call me for a reason, God, and I choose to accept it. I, I choose not to run away from it anymore. I choose to accept who you say that I am, God, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go after everything that you, that you have for me, God. And I embrace it. I embrace it. Oh God, I, I go. I, 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 I'm, I'm here for the. I'm here for the process, God. I'm ready to go through the process, whatever it takes, the pruning that you have to do, the stretching that you have to do, the strengthening that you have to do. Lord, everything that you have to remove, oh God, everything that you have to take away from me, God, I'm ready. I'm ready. Y'all, I love y'all so much. Y'all know I can go on and on, but I'm not because I heard, I heard Holy Spirit say, that's it. That's it. So I have to end. But I love y'all so much. Y'all, if you know that this video is for, I want to hear from y'all. I want to hear from my brothers and sisters, y'all. Y'all know we are different. We are different. We are not like everybody else. Everybody will not get this. Everybody will not understand this. When God has given you a vision, when God has given you a dream, when God has called you for a certain position, and when he has called you in a, in for a certain calling, no, these people around you, your family members, your friends, they're not going to understand it. They never will understand it. But the people like me and you, we understand it. And I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to comment say, I'm going to embrace my chosen identity. I want you to comment if, if this video resonated with you. If you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you know that God is speaking to you right now, y'all, I love y'all so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.